Today we're going to look at some items that we've been selling right this minute on eBay for decent money. Hey, it's Don. Today, I'm going to show you some of what we've been selling on eBay right this very minute. I just picked some random stuff from the store we share with you. Let's hop over right now and show you some interesting and cool items that sold. So here we are with the first item. This is a trade card. This is for Christmas. During certain seasons, they would make cards advertising for the holidays. And these would be basically like Christmas greeting cards from the company that these were given to. Now, many companies use this exact same design. You can find the same image on hundreds, probably, of cards throughout the time frame. Remember this? This would date to about 1880s. I took 30 on this one, and the same day, I think I sent an offer out on this one as well, and this one went for 30 at the same time. Early image, he's got a green coat. Nice early image for Santa there. Now, here's a rather interesting item. As it says, relic touched to the holy remains of Blessed Mother Beatrice. So this is a piece of fabric is inside this little tiny piece of paper. This is about the size of a stamp. And it was touched on the actual relic, something that was tied personally to Mother Beatrice. Now, you can look her up as well. I do believe she was a saint, if I am not mistaken. This one went for fifty-seven fifty. I believe it was another offer to watchers. Very happy with that on this one here. Now, here's a set of playing cards. I believe I got 30 shipped out of these. They're two sets. They're French cards. They're old world style. Kind of looks like 1800s cards. Uh, rather interesting. I paid 50 cents a pack. I have a dollar into them. So 20 some odd bucks after fees is what I have back. Now here's an interesting item. I showed this in a haul. It's just a keychain with some tiny miniature tools of some sort inside them. Now the scissors themselves work and they were marked. I believe all of these actually worked. I believe they were actual tools. So I took 25 on these. Happy with that. They paid for postage as well. Now, here's an 8mm movie. I have nothing into this. I sold a whole bunch of these. We've made a big profit off of this purchase. I bought them in bulk, and this one sold for 20 bucks. Very happy with that. I'm making around $16, $17 after everything's said and done on this. Now, here is a bookmark. Now, I've talked about bookmarks before. I sell bookmarks all the time. I've probably sold at least one bookmark every week of the year. Some weeks, way more than that. Now, this isn't going to let you retire or anything like that, but that's just adding something else to the list of items that you sell. Bookmarks sell very, very well if you get the right ones. I've sold bookmarks for two and $300, so it's a good area to look for. $17.50 is what it went for, and they paid for shipping. Now, here's an interesting item. This is a city scene in China. This one sold for $92. Now, I had a whole bunch of these. I've sold quite a few of them. I only paid a couple bucks, I think $2 a piece for these and a stack of them. This is a long 10-inch wide panoramic view. Nice downtown city scene. Excellent type of Chinese collectibles. I love this sort of stuff. We kept some of these as well. Now, here's a postcard from China. I believe I took 35 plus shipping on this one as well. This one is from Hong Kong, Chang Chan Island. You can see it listed in there. Looking some of this stuff up is usually people's hardest problem in figuring out something like this on price. But this isn't a scarce card, so I'm very happy with that money on it. I paid a dollar for it. Now, here's another image. This is just a small sized image taken of a city street of a parade. This one went for 40 bucks plus shipping, I do believe. Nice image here. If you look at it close, it's got some really nice detail. Now, here's another one of the CBS promo photos. This one went for $34.50. Chisholms, I don't know what it is about those images, but most everything from that TV show, movie, I guess, I have sold. Now, I guess there's something tied with this because I even sold to Delta Burke herself who was in this because she didn't even have a copy of this. Just one of those interesting things. I've sold a bunch from just this one. Every time I see something like this, I grab them up. 
Now, this next one's a Rice Krispie Treats advertising sign that would have hung in a store. It has holes to be mounted to the ceiling. They're fairly tall. Uh, it's 14 inches tall. Nice example. I sold it for $27.50, as you can see. I got like a dollar into it, so no big deal on that. Here's another pen. This one went for $25. I've sold... Geez, probably three or four hundred dollars worth of pens in the last two weeks. Pens, pencils, and that sort of thing. We sell quite a few of them. If I list a new batch, I usually pay for it the very day it went up. Perfect example on this one here. Here's a very interesting item. This is Chase and Sanborn. I still believe Sanborn is in business now. They're a tea and coffee maker. This is Butterflies of America. It's like an ID book for butterflies. And you can see what it sold for there. Nice example. This is a nice condition copy of this most of the time these are trashed up because people held them and went outside with them next item here is a stereo view i paid two dollars for this one this is from e and h t anthony which is a very well-known photographer who produced this here it's a civil war canon the swamp angel had it up for a little while it has a rev war stamp on the back uh, no big deal to me. Something that I would look for. Very nice stereo view, to say the least. This is from the Civil War time frame while it was still going on. Happy with $95 from this. Here's another 8mm movie. This is a Laurel and Hardy. Uh, 20 bucks, as you can see. This is all profit, just like the last one. I sold, I don't know, four or five movies, I think, this week alone. I don't mind selling a couple of these every week. It's residual income. I sell these constantly until they're gone. That seems to be what happens with every big lot that we get. Here's some mod fab jewelry. This is Lucite or something along that line. Necklace and earring set. It did go for $24.50. I paid $2 for the set of these at a church sale. Now I've got a couple pieces of Barbie clothing. I think I might have showed these in a haul. I have nothing pennies into these. I bought a big lot for just a few dollars. It was just clothing basically in a damaged case. I discarded the case. I sold the clothing that was good anyway. This one went, I believe, for $24.50 plus shipping. Excellent condition here. For most people, these sorts of items are hard to find out what they are called or where they go to. It's hard to list. A lot of these will have tags on the inside here. I don't believe this one did. Now, here is another skipper outfit. This is uh, from a specific outfit. It's missing a few pieces, but it's still sold for $34, I believe. Basically, I'm making around 30 bucks after all is said and done, after all the fees are paid and the whole works. Now, this next item is an NOS shirt. I showed these in a haul. I think I paid four bucks for them. I got 30 bucks back. I think I've sold about seven or eight of the ones that I've gotten. We've now made a couple hundred bucks profit off of these. And I'll still sell them a couple of months or so as the way it goes. No big deal. It's free money coming in at this point again because I have nothing into them. I've got a few records here, too, I'm going to show you. We sold quite a few records. I've just pulled out a few to give you some insight on them. Now, this is California, Here I Come. You should know that song. Al Jolson made it very popular and famous back in the 20s and 30s. This is the same song sung by somebody else. This is Arthur Lance. On the flip side is Bob Herring. So, nice example. I took $24.50 on this one. Now, here's another interesting one. Yes, sir, that's my baby. It's another well-known song. This is sung by Gene Austin. So, another interesting one. This is a Batwing Victor, post-World War I-ish era, 1920s. Next item here is an 1870s or 80s very large Christmas card with silk fringe around the edges of it. Very nice example of this. As you can see, it went for decent money. I've got 2 or $3 into this one. It does have some damage. It should have been glued together on either side, but the glue is missing or somebody took something off of it. Either way, the person who bought it was very, very happy with this. And the last item is a free piece of sheet music. This is from the Civil War, Marching Through Georgia. The person was very happy with this. It's an original. It sold for $57.50. Now, date isn't everything. This is from 1865. That doesn't mean it's worth a fortune. So pay attention to that. Don't always think that something old means that it's worth a lot of money. There's things that go hundreds of years back that are only worth a few dollars even still. So this is just one of those sheet musics that was very well collected back then. So many of them were printed with many different editions. So it just doesn't go that much. But that's what I have for you today. Well, there you are. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.
Hello, I'm Vincent Price. For many years now, mankind and his offspring have been searching for an alternative to peanut butter and jelly. After employing the latest methods in technology, the Peter Paul Candy Company has found the alternative to peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter with no jelly. Pure, creamy peanut butter dotted with Krispies, covered with pure milk chocolate, but no jelly. I'm sure you're as pleased as I am. <laughs>